Hey, everybody. Eric Meyer with my great friend, Matt Romanowski. How's it going, Matt? Brother Matt? It's going great. How you doing? Uh, always, always fun to be with you. Um, <laughs> guys, we're, uh, we're, uh, we're doing a program today, a data program called Use What You Have. Use What You Have. I'm going to say that again and again and again. Matt and I are actually going to talk about it. This is geared toward uh, folks that need to stick their big toe in the water or their ankle or re re stick their big toe or their ankle, maybe jump in with, uh, with uh, both feet uh, over their head, which you can do. And there's a lot of people here to throw you life preservers. And there's one of them, there's two of them on the, on the sheet right now or on the screen right now. But before we get into this too deep, Matt, my brother, um, you and I met a couple of years ago through Ross Bentley. It's just been a, a, a treat to, to get to know you and go on a data journey with you. You're a big inspiration for me, dude, straight up. I think it's both of us. You know, I, I do the same thing with what you've built an instructor summit and the community that it's become and the knowledge share and everything. It, it, it's definitely a mutual respect here. Do you know you're the only uh, data presenter to present at all four instructor summits so far? And soon to be the fifth. Right. At the end of the I, video, I'll tell everybody when that is. It might be uh, next year in February, but we'll I love it. I'm, uh, I believe instructor summit so much is as we've talked about, you tell me where to be and when, and I'm in. Guys, we did a, uh, we did a, 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 well, you've done two data programs, right? The very first instructor summit following Ross in Indianapolis. Then yep. you're on, uh, then we went to Road Atlanta on uh, Sunday with uh, you and Ross and myself and Peter. Yeah. And uh, then you're on the, then you're on a, a panel of subject matter experts in Indianapolis on our big event last year. A year ago. Yep. Yeah. It, it, and they've all been so much fun to to share things and to work with everybody and the connections you meet. And I, I think we're going to talk about some of those people today, maybe. Yep. 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 Another good thing. I was just thinking about this. Um, uh, remember how we we talked about with Roger doing a big uh, data palooza? Mm -hmm. Data palooza at uh, in uh, Road Atlanta. Yeah. Um, guys. For those of you listening, this is the best time to be in data right now. There are more resources available. Matt, how many, uh, talk about Roger and how he's just killed some of the AIM webinars. You're very closely tied to that and to Roger and to AIM, AIM Italy. Yeah, so, uh, you know, one of the good things that came out of 2020 was AIM has always kind of supplied Roger as a presenter and a host across any group, and it, and it doesn't have to be an AIM dealer or any real association with AIM, is Roger has traveled the country for years now, 10 years, I think, um, doing seminars on data. And while they use the AIM stuff, he really teaches people about data. And with uh, COVID and the lack of travel, they moved it all to be online. And he now has over 150 webinars online that he has co-host everywhere from somebody like me to book authors like uh, Jorge Seegers, who's written stuff. Our buddy Peter's done them. Jeremy's done them. Um, Jeremy Lucas, one of the guys close to you. Um, just a huge host of people from how There's to resources out there, man. There's resources out there. Uh, Andrew, Andrew uh, Rains, Apex Pro. He's video master, webinar master. Guys, there's he, no... Uh, he makes me jealous with how good he is. Yep. Here's our little Apex Pro right here. This is a uh, early beta module. Yeah. With respect to use what you have, the title right. of the program, this is, uh, I don't know, three and a half years old, one of the early models. It, I bet it's even a little bit older than that. With the, you know, the probably is. Back plate. Probably is. It's got some scratches on it. When I first met him, he uh, he offered this up. We have just a awesome, awesome guy. Really like him a lot. He's helping the industry. It's really yeah, awesome. he is. He, he's got some of the best video content on the free portion, you know, the the weekly webinars and everything he does on data. And he's got some awesome ones on uh, safety, right? He's done some really great ones about helmets and everything else. And then he's got some of the, the uh, pay-per-view or the paid webinars that he's putting together that are top-notch content that uh, is available to everyone, right? You don't need something special to go do his devices and or his webinars and what he's talking about. is applicable to everybody. You know, use what you got. Use what, what, what do you got over there? What kind of oh, stuff, man, what kind I, of toys I, you got over there, old school? I, I pulled went, together a couple of things. So, full, um, full disclosure, everybody, 
Matt and I both said, hey, go get all the data devices that you got. And I found and all but one. Uh, I've I know I have. It's somewhere around here. So so we're gonna we're gonna surprise each other and see what see what we came up. So use have, what you have, even the old stuff. Old stuff is great right, stuff. So Works. you can see I got a host of new stuff behind me, always here. Dude, those and are all I'm, empty. Who you you're you're just posing. <laughs> right. I've got a uh, solo next to me. You know, new oh, yeah. solo two DL. Um, super popular. What uh, when those first come out, give or take? The solo twos, I think they've been uh, five years ish, and then if we want to start going in the way back machine, what do you got oh, there? That one, that one's a secret, not yet. Oh, we got uh, the previous version of the solo. Um, this is solo DL, and actually looking at the serial number on it, this is a pretty darn early one. Um, probably one of the first ones that came out and were shipped around the U S um, another, what's so cool is the data you get out of them. The GPS is a little bit better and it does some extra things. It's got some lights. The data is the same. The improvement it gives a driver exactly the same. And this is the device that really made me dig much further into data because it was so simple to use. It turned on and off. It did everything automatic. It really changed things. But, the other really cool thing, the old. Oh my Smarty gosh, Pack. that's right? Smithsonian, bro. Yeah, uh, you know, not even HD video, but what's so cool about this one is it gives you a data file just like this one. So wow. if you pick up, you have this old camera in there. You could take the old card out, right? The super. I haven't opened it in so long. You take that old card out put it in your computer and you have data, right? You want to talk about use what you have? These things, there was a bazillion of them that got shipped around the world. They're in all the old cars with the new cameras and everything else. It gives you great data, the same as your new dash. So for people on a budget and they want to go old school, you need to fully, fully invest. You need, you need GPS, right? You need GPS and some accelerometers and you're good. And that's like with everything, including your phone, right? Harry's. Uh, you know what? Really anymore? I don't even think you need that. Uh, the accelerometer. I think with really? GPS and it calculate with GPS, lateral and longitudinal G forces coming out of the GPS. That's what I go to. Holy get cow. driver 90% of the time. And that comes out of your phone, right? Harry's has it. Uh, the um, HP tuners has the app trap at track addict. That has that information in it. That is powerful stuff. And we're making it really hard for you to, to I'm, I'm getting close and out of focus. Guys, we're making it really hard for you to make excuses. The data's Look, out there. Do you want to keep going in the Wayback Machine? Yeah. You have your oh, old. Oh, machine. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I got <laughs> this. I love old it. School. Right. But if you have this in your car, you have the info to get better, to work on improving. That's uh oh that's where I met Steve Holscher for Race Keeper now uh now Angus Angus yeah. McKenzie my brother Angus what's going on Road Keeper right. neat product those guys Another give product, you the tools right? right you have video you have the tools you can get better using that stuff you know to the one of the newest things right oh man you stole my thunder I'm pulling mine <laughs> out too uh, yep. right there you go but use oh we got another one here. Right, all kind of stuff you can put on an iPad and put in the car, including yeah. my, my my favorite, my favorite, my Apex Pro. Oh, full disclosure, I'm a full aim guy, and I think I've had I don't know how many MXLs, had yeah. three MXLs, a couple of these, uh, some Motec ADL twos, uh, yeah, yeah. But you know what's common? Trackmate, across Trackmate. That was the one I'm looking for downstairs. I yep. couldn't find it in my garage. Yeah. yeah. You know what's so cool is what's the same about all of them? Like everything we've mentioned, the Motec yeah. ADL2 and the new Motec C series, the oldest AIM devices, um, your old Pista, the Apex Pro, the Race Keeper, the TrackMate. What was the key thing that they all do? Total. Total. It's like, uh, it's like uh, every microwave food dish could be whatever kind of dish but you're putting it in the microwave. They'll have one thing in common. They're going in the microwave. Same thing with, with data right. guys. It's not, 
It's not rocket yep. science. You learn one, you learn them all. Right. Use what you got. If, Use what you have. If, if you can learn that speed trace, that one thing, it probably gives you 70% of what you need, right? Let me let me pull one up so we know what we're talking about. So everybody knows what we're talking about and uh, we won't scare them away. I would like to talk about the industry and some of the re great resources that are out there, Matt. There's some wonderful guys. Yeah, but I think this is a great tracker. If we take a look at this. Here's your Can you see this? Can you see this, Matt, I, in front of us? I see it. I'm going to get something to squiggle on here. Guys, this is a speed trace. You can see over here. This is the Y axis. They call that Y in the sky. Yep. This is about as technical as I'm going to get. This is the X axis. In this case, it's distance represented in meters, 2,000 meters. And this goes all the way that you already know this to the, the finish line right here. And then the start starts right back over here. Mm -hmm. Pretty super simple. This is speed. You can see it over here. 150 miles an hour. This is Devin's. This is girlfriend Devin's. That's pretty awesome. She has that super going that quick. That's cranking, huh? And and I picked her worst lap, which which I kind of know because I went through. She sent me a bunch of data from Coda. Guys, here's what I want you to see. And this is super, super simple. This is how and maybe easy. to maybe to point out really quick too is if if yeah. somebody doesn't know this is Coda data by looking at it, and, and we wouldn't expect that. It's got the map. Yeah, right here, guys. We have that awesome track map that it throws up there so we know and here's where what we're track at. We're looking at. And that yep. spot right there is the same spot as this spot on the track that's 2,000 and plus meters. I just want to show everybody one thing. If you can do this, you can get it for the speed trace. This is learning data. See this thing right here? Mm -hmm. And right there, Matt, you want to take it away and talk about what that is? I want you to grab the third one, just to the left at 3,000 feet. There's another one. Oh, yep, Coming right up. down here. Thank there you. we go. So when we look at a speed trace, this is- Which is the blue yeah. line, speed trace. It's the blue line. And I think sometimes to people, it gets a little confusing. When they look at this, it's a little overwhelming. They don't really know what it is. A speed trace is exactly your speed. It takes your GPS, and when you look at your speedometer and it says you're going 50 miles an hour, it gives you the distance from start finish. So if we look at, uh, we look right here. Yep. Where that cross is, or that's the same thing up here. It's exactly this, which is the same thing as your speedometer, guys. You got it. You were doing 86. Point, she was doing 86.83 miles an hour, 2,750 feet from start finish. Right here on the track. Yep. yep. Congratulations, you know data. Hey, great. Thanks for showing up, everybody. We'll see you later. You, right. Have a great day. Don't forget to tip your waiter. Uh, uh, it's That's really what we're looking at. Yeah. And then when, when we take that, we say we know there's things when we're driving that we should try to do and try to execute to be quicker, to do better. So what you have circled in all these red circles are shift points. And we see that there's a uh, a change in that speed trace. And we can see um, the highest one you circled there. We'll go, we'll go back so that everybody, everybody sees us all. Guys, we're gonna yep. go back and we're gonna use green and we're talking about shifts. Right, let's look at that one first. Let's okay. look at just that first one you got. So the, the green circle that Eric has there is a shift. Right, she's probably going from, I don't know if her car's a five or six speed, she's going from uh, four to five, I, I'm guessing. I'm guessing four to five too. So she's going from four over to five. And what we see here is as she made that shift, the car actually slowed down a little bit. Mm -hmm. From right here, right? So to right here. that helps us explain the speed trace a little bit is when it's going up, you're going faster. When it's coming down, you're going slower. Those are, That's the a fundamental idea of understanding this trace. And if we understand that as it goes up, we go faster, as it goes down, we go slower. And then we can say, why did it do that? So in this point, we see that we're, we're looking at uh, a straightaway, right? Cause it's going faster and faster and faster that whole way. And then we yep. have these little blips in it. I'll show everybody that just so you can see, we're coming yep. out of a slow corner right here at, oh, what looks like about 35 miles an hour or so, right? Yep. 35 miles an hour on the left. And Matt, take us right through it. So 
Devin starts accelerating and she's probably got her foot flat to the floor and she's going and then we get to a shift. So she shifts from maybe second gear to third gear. She goes flat to the floor. We keep accelerating, accelerating, accelerating. We're probably doing maybe 110, 115 in here, maybe 105. Mm -hmm. She shifts again, accelerates, accelerates, accelerates. And then we see this other shift. But what's a little bit different about it is it's a little bit longer. It took a little bit longer and the car didn't accelerate. Uh, it, it didn't keep accelerating as quick again. So she shifted, she went right back to it. And we came up to the point that she stopped accelerating because accelerating is when that speed trace is going up. And we can presume just looking at a speed trace, if the speed trace is increasing, the only way that happens is she's got her foot on the gas pedal. She's got throttle in it. And then she slows down for the corner. Um, and when we see a simple thing we can look at and we work, and I've worked on this with from uh, the very beginner all the way to the top level pro driver is how quick we shift. Because these shift points that, that you've got that one circle. Yeah, it literally. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that the is, first time I raced uh, Grand Am in Daytona. And I was coming out of the bus stop faster than my, my super hot shoe buddy. And he yep. was beat. He was beating me. He was making up and beating me. I'm like, how can this happen? And he was faster, sh shifting faster, faster, shifter, yep. faster, right. shifting. That's the new Volkswagen, <laughs> new no, was, Volkswagen was diesel guy. wagon, <laughs> fast and shifting manual. Sorry. But, so this is the really simple thing that we learn in the speed trace, but even though it's simple, the idea of going faster, and I know it's one that our buddy Ross talks about all the time, like what is the best professional driver do better than everyone else? The basics every single time. Let's talk Shifting. about that real quick and then we'll jump out, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm seeing this. And again, I pointed this on purpose, pointed this out on purpose. Yep. Right. And I see this thing right here also. Yep. Would you start with this one right here, Matt? Tell me what you see and uh, dumb it down for, for uh, guys like me that aren't very smart. So this I'm one, when we that. talk about the speed trace, if it's going up, we're on the gas pedal. And when it's going down, we're on the brake pedal. Now, if it's not doing either of those things um, strongly, right? Maybe it's going up just a little bit or it's going down just a little bit like we see in your red circle. To me, that says that might be coasting. It might be really where we're off the gas completely, or maybe we're coming out of the gas. It could be where we're not. And sure guys, we're talking about this part right here where it's yep. not one or the other. Right. Right. It's this. And then it's like, well, we're kind of not sure. Da, 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 da. For whatever yeah. reason, no judgment. But if you no, can see it, that, you can see data. You can see it. that, guys. You can see data. And it gives us the opportunity to go, hey, what happened right here? You talk but about why, this right here, brother? So that's a change in the braking slope. So that change is as we're slowing down, the rate we kept slowing down changed. And if we think to our uh, the fuzzy dice idea or the big cup of coffee on the dashboard, that is, it was out and then all of a sudden it went more or it went less, right? And that's a change in how fast we're slowing down. Um, as we look at that, that's another spot that if she was here with us, I'd, I'd go, hey, what happened right here? Why, yeah. why did this change? Yeah, not, not good or bad. What? I learned that from Ross. Hey, hey, what's going on right here? Hey, that's where I shift, man. My third gear is really hard to get into. My fourth gear, my car, uh, the ABS lights coming on. I'm trying to stay out of it. It's where you you find out information. That's what it, this it, is. You know, find out information. If your buddy's it, looking at your data and he's like, I know how to read data, and he's automatically judging you and saying you can be faster right here, get a new buddy. He should be yep. asking questions. <laughs> he should be and, going, what's going on right here. Sadly, a lot of new data people do that and they turn off their buddies who are trying to learn data. So if you're one of those guys and you know data, lead with asking questions. Don't lead to a final assessment because mostly you're going to be wrong. I said it. <laughs> Boom. No question. I agree. Because if we look at that, the slower shift that she did. Which is I look at that one. That one. 
I look at that and I go, it's a slow shift, but it could be for so many reasons. It could be that she has trouble reaching that far. It could be that she needs to work on her technique. It could be a transmission problem. I'm a somebody old, pulled out in traffic and brake checked her a little bit. Yeah, right, or she might have got, got in her way. Yeah, she lifted. I, sure. And then I'm an old Porsche guy. I drive transmissions that the synchros are even when they're brand new and it's a brand new gearbox. It just doesn't shift fast. So for me coming through, if you look at my data, you'll always see those shift points in it because that's just what that transmission does. Even with good technique, good shifting, good mechanicals, that's what they look like. So it's not to say that it's bad yeah. only compared to a car with the paddles. Yep. And if your buddy's got a paddle shifter and he's like, dude, a PDK Porsche, those things are gorgeous. You can't right. even see when they shift. It's crazy. Right. It's just a straight line the whole way. And Pretty close. You yeah. You got to hunt. Yeah. 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 And if you look at that and you see that straight line, right, you know, data, you know what you're looking at. You know why it's different. Hey, Matt, what, what kind of resources are out there for the new folks? Remember, this uh, the, the, the name of this program, guys, is Use What You Have, whatever it is. Right. Old school, uh, you can find these on the internet for next to nothing. They work. They work. This. This is, I think this is one of the best values, right? Uh, eight years ago when it was released, this thing was uh, 700 bucks. Today, you find these things for two, three, four hundred dollars. If you don't have data and hold up your Apex Pro, because that's another one of the ones that is such a crazy Here's value. My solo people. two DL too. Yep. Right? Yeah, both of them. But any of these things, right? Those are roughly the same prices. This thing in, on the used market's awesome. If you can find one of these, they're still going strong. People don't take them out. If you find one of these, it gives you a data file because it's not about the price. You don't need a $50,000 Cosworth pie yep. or whatever system. You need something. And if that means you put it on your phone, do it. Start somewhere. Because uh, I always joke with people, it's sort of like swimming, right? You can read a book. You can watch YouTube videos. You can do all these things. You can practice. You got to get in the water. You got to do something to go with it. So start doing it. And can you say you that like research? Eric Call, nice and slow and low? That, that seems like something that Eric would say, who's a mutual friend of both of ours. And a yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you just have to do it. Get into data. Use a session. Your phone, your device that came in the car you bought, the thing you never downloaded. If you, you have this system and you don't know what to do, they're super popular ones, right? Apex Pro. Andrew's got videos all over Tons. the Facebook page. Tons. Like He's got to have 200 at this point. This... I know you got probably a, a zillion of these back oh, here, don't you? Don't you have like buy 20 of these at a time? <laughs> yeah. Look at that. It's in the wrapper. I, I won't give away my secret. One of the things I do have, though, it's not here. It's at my house, is I've got this in the hardcover. Oh, oh. I can't get those anymore. Ooh. Collector's edition. This one, this is a soft cover. Guys, this is a fantastic book. Uh, it is uh, easy for somebody to read. It's got big pictures for dumb sales guys like me. It is phenomenal. And Chris I, Brown's a close friend of yours. You know him, a, a colleague for uh, years. Chris, years. Is, Chris is awesome. I've learned so much from Chris over the years. I think this book is the number one source for people that want to start getting into data. Chris wrote this in a way that anyone understands it. Chris has a, a ability to explain things that people just understand. And, you know, from Chris, if you want to go further, I think you have you have something else from Chris to share. <laughs> How'd you know? Because you told me about this. Because <laughs> I told uh, you. This is Chris's book, uh, Chris's program from 2018. Look at this, Red Bull. Chris has done every kind of program out there. Uh, he's a fantastic engineer and he's oh. just awesome. But this is a, a MoTeC. It's a data course that primarily features MoTeC that's usually at PRI show every year. And it goes around the nation as well. It money. goes around the nation. It, Chris works a lot in IMSA, so it supports. And uh, if he hasn't changed it up since before, is it's one day a MoTeC and one day a data. Yep. And um, yep. A, another one of your best friends that I didn't know about until kind of recently, when I did my class, she was with me from your Miata days, your little sister. We're talking about Shea Holbrook? We're talking about Shay. Shay was with me when we did it. In um, what? It, 
Yeah, we did one. It was outside of Lime Rock. She was up there for the testing and the the race. And then she came over. We were in Connecticut and we did Chris's class together and had a blast. Shay is just awesome. of a uh, Just an awesome person. So fun to be around. I've been around her when she's coaching and working and we've stood on corners together. She's awesome. She's got a new gig, man. She went big. She does. She bought in. Put How much places. better of a program could you get? Her, a great car, and a day of the track. Yep. Yep. Hey, I got something else to show us, show everybody while we're here. This is right. uh, how I sort of cut my teeth very early on. Are you looking at data for drivers? I love it. This what is Ross's program, right? two hour program. Guys, if you're a Ross guy, you're going to dig this. It is absolutely wonderful. I think it's inexpensive too. I think it's 59, 99 bucks. I, it's good. Super good. Whatever it is. It, it's another one. If you want a start to, to try to learn things, it's so great because Ross explains these basic concepts that you can understand in a way that helps you. And then he gives you an application, right? And Ross is a guy that's doing this with people at the top of motorsports. What he's teaching you and relaying to you isn't some, like, don't ever let that idea be that it's a dumbed down beginner thing because he's looking at a speed trace or just a brake trace. That's it. That is what you do when you drive. Um, you know, twice three four times oh phase, you went old school hard guys school hard. if you don't Just know like, about this book this is the one that's like uh, more rare than uh what was the nicholas cage movie where they're trying to find the the uh the deal in the white house desk right with the <laughs> carved out of bone bone uh a whale bone right, right? the pipe this, or whatever that was a key this that's thing old is school. it's 30 years old it goes for a couple hundred bucks when you can find one um but it still holds true. The data doesn't change. And what's so crazy about it, when we talk about it all the time. No way. GG dragons, right? Friction yep. circle. It, it hasn't changed. And as you go through the- Guys, if data, you're brand new and you just got blown away with Matt showed, that's that little, that little ping pong ball that's jumping around, right? A lot in OEM cars and it's bouncing around. That's what he just showed you right there. It's, it's, it's your fuzzy little, dice. It's, yep. It's just data. Hey, yeah. some of the folks that are out there for resources, let's give them a shout out that are wonderful. I'm going to oh. shout out to Andrew Rains. He he makes he he's out there on a program with Apex Pro to make data accessible to everybody. Yeah, it's Apex Pro, but a speed trace is a speed trace. Yep, doesn't matter what the system is. The stuff that Andrew's relaying to people, he shows it in an Apex Pro environment. But that speed trace is applicable no matter what system you're using. It doesn't matter. A speed trace is a speed trace. You got a bunch of data users up in your neck of the woods. Yeah, we have a couple great car clubs. So the one that's kind of close to me is uh, Com. They're a group in the Northeast. It's actually, it was started out, I think it was Corvettes in Massachusetts. It's all inclusive. The guys I know, uh, Jeff and Nick and all these guys that are doing, they have a data coaching program in their car club. that You can go to the track, sign up for their program and end up looking at data with them and then they're also if you don't do that program they're helpful with it um that's the way to learn it's, yeah it's, it's hard to learn by yourself it's really easy when somebody's there to lift you uh, mark mcgee uh bmw cca uh west coast san Fran. let's see so he, he's san francisco uh, north cal and that's the golden gate chapter i believe he's been doing I believe so. 10 years with his uh with his de folks peter mm -hmm. peter kraus ray phillips yep. Some of these guys, they start getting super expert and they're they're helping the tip of the spear. Guys like Matt, who are uh, just back from uh, Sebring Trans Am, right? Yeah, yeah. A lot of great, Atlanta. great folks out there. Who else is out there? Roger Cadell. Could you talk a little bit about Roger and his resources? And you know, he's there to help. What, what, uh, Roger, talk, so Roger's out? whole job with AIM is to help. So he's, I think his technical title is national training manager and he does the webinars. He does the in-person, he does zooms with people constantly. He answers emails, he does all that stuff. And he's just there to help people get stuff out of their system. Um, but there's guys, you know, I think Ray's one that you mentioned that Ray's really cool. And I think Ray sort of works really well in conjunction with the guy, John Block, John Block. If you've never heard of him, it's a uh, autoware.com. He does training classes for people. It's a paid program. I think it is, don't tell John, massively underpriced for what you can learn. John uh, put a car on the pole as an engineer at Indy, in the Indy 500, 
He did it with uh, at Daytona. His whole life, he's done cars at a really high level, and he brings it down to teach you things. You know what he looks at a lot? Speed Trace. <laughs> <laughs> the Indy 500. I was looking at a magazine article this morning about winning the Indy 500. You know what they look at? Speed Trace, Lamar, Speed Trace. It's always the same. That's right. Um, Guys, this is what we're talking about. It's really easy to get into. Use yeah, what you have. There's some tons of resources out there. All these I think, are just like you. They're, the resources are out there. They're free. They're on YouTube. They're everywhere. And, right, you'll, and you know, you'll get better. When, you'll get better. When you want to pay a little bit, Ray is a guy who, who has helped people win uh, Ferrari Challenge championships, right? Very he's successful got track series. record. Yeah. Yeah. He's, got, he's an awesome sim racer. And he's got a, a service that he will help you. If you want to get deeper into these things, he helps you set up all the ways to do these things. So if you want to be in the deep end, as deep as it gets, you have resources there. If you want to be in the shallow end and kind of feeling things out, you have all these free resources. Uh, plus, plus, he likes to take pictures of his cat and post on social media. <laughs> hey, Ray, gotcha, brother. Gotcha. Uh, Peter. Peter has uh, experience with just about every, probably every data device out there. He's one of the yeah. grandfather uh, OG dudes out there, close personal friend. Uh, if you need to understand VIR and you've never heard the name Peter Krause, you are missing the boat. Matter of fact, you're not even near the ocean. You need to reach out <laughs> to Peter. He's he's absolutely awesome. Hey, right? I, I think he might have had a whole decade he lived at VIR. <laughs> yeah, it still does, man. He's the guy that right. I listen to above everyone else. Also taught a lot of uh a lot yeah. of great folks hey um before we wrap up here um what uh would be your one bit of advice for somebody new to data watching this and maybe got some kind of older or newer item what, what, um, what, some ice some advice yeah i'm gonna go nike shoes just do it jump in can't uh can't beat take that your, man take your data and start looking at yeah. it. And even if you don't know what you're, you're to do with it, look at a, a speed trace. And I share my data all the time. It's in those AIM webinars. It's my data. I found it used in articles in other countries. I look at data and I go, oh, that's, you know, that looks just perfect. What kind of F1 driver is that? I go, oh, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody, you know, everybody has a fluke lab, Matt. It's possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blind coral finds a nut. That's the story of my life. Um, awesome. Hey, let's let's but, get together and do this again. Let's uh, do something and actually dive into some some speed traces. Uh, not on this program, but on a future one. Deal. I love it, and my deal to it is let's get somebody to send you some data and jump into it. Fantastic. If you got some data, send it over. I'll put Matt's email below. Put my email below. We'll be happy to use it on a future program. Couple of them, right? Couple. Right. Uh, I'd, yeah, I'd love it. We're gonna look at a G trace try to give somebody that insight of what they can do with it. And we're going to let this thing blossom. I'm excited. It doesn't have to be your really best good. session, personal best lap time ever. Guys, that's not, that's not the goal. That's not no, how you go. just any data, any, 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 it, any that's any. another one that happens is people think they need their best data. Oh, I didn't have my best session. Let's not look at it. I, don't I want, want your anything. average. Not a good lap. <laughs> Right. I think the pros Average. are doing that. Ah, sorry, engineer. Sorry. No, nope. right. can't see it. Uh -uh. Right. Sorry. They're, they're running to them, especially when it's junky. Help me. Yeah. Help me. Help me. Exactly. That's the, the worse the weekend goes, the deeper we are in data. Awesome. With that, we are wrapping up. Matt, so uh, awesome to see you, brother. Great. It was awesome seeing you, man. We will talk to you soon. Everybody check underneath for some uh, references to send your data. Uh, got a Shea, Shea Holbrook link down there. We'll put a couple of links to the other folks that we mentioned. And we will see you at the track.